Yeah, you actually spoke earlier about the likes of Cage Exit, you've got Cage Conflict, you've got Clan Wars, and you have IUR, which is Decky McLennan's from Cage Warriors. He only started a new promotion there and he had his second event. When I was speaking to Declan, uh, kind of after, I think he said he made no money on it. He made no money. They're not doing this for the love of the money. That's why we all need to, for us, for me, like I said, we need to chip in together and we need to, the, the stars are coming from these places. You came from there. Queely came from there. Cavallo, Dylan Logan. Like, for me, we need to keep these alive. We need to, I'd rather, and this is before, I'd rather pay the money for a cage legacy or a cage conflict or a Clarence Wars pay for you and give them the money rather than the UFC are going to have the money. I want to see these stars grow and the only way we can do that is from here. And I want to touch on, you talked about two, two coaches. You talked about John Kavanagh and Andy Ryan. Obviously for years, they were only the really two big ones. How do you feel now MMA around Ireland? Because there's gyms everywhere now and how do you view that? I feel, view that as a very good thing and I think the more gyms that come up the better oh big time uh, yeah it was, obviously John was the first and Andy Ryan obviously they approached me other coach and then uh, HQ as well they were the, you know the guys at the time that were um, you know training in sheds and you know doing you know and not knowing what was they were creating and um, look, look where it is today and uh, yeah all these smaller gyms popping up and you know it's a uh, as you know, we all every gym starts small, and and um, it's it's not about that. It's it's just about the overall competition. I mean, um, you know, different gyms popping up everywhere. Look at look what Karen Davin's doing down there in, in in the Midlands. You know, the serious lads down there, and <clears throat> um, you know, all the guys over the like West, then Cork, William McGriffin, and and uh, the Maguires down there, the Maguire brothers, and I mean, it's up north what the lads are doing this years and. It's uh no, it's unbelievable. It's um, but I mean, yeah, from humble beginnings to where it is now, and as I said, it's just we need to, we need to keep the the shows running and pay the extra few quid. To, uh, sorry, pay the few whatever fee it is. It's I mean, a tenner to watch these fights, all these lads coming up, and Declan would be right uh, to go back to your last question. He, he wouldn't be throwing over any money in this. You know, he's he's doing it to put his own lads on, or he's doing it to to uh. Keep, keep keep the show running down here in the south, you know. So uh, I mean, we've we a lot to thank for all these lads, you know. Yeah, especially with Declan because you've got Cage Conflict, which you're going up to tomorrow. You've got Clan Wars and you've got IUR, which is Deckies. You've got Clan Wars and then are you or Cage Conflict? I think it's Fight Card in the Islands. But down south, we only have Cage Legacy, and Declan actually yeah. said to me himself, "I want people to come in and help." Yeah, because or to create their own promotions because we need it down here, um, and I think if we could get more promotions, that'd be good, um, because we, as a country, we do need it. And I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather support them than support the US. The US are going to get money from every country in the world. We need to support our own, and we need to help grow it. So, big time, big time, yeah, um, yeah, and likes of. All those lads wouldn't see each other as competition or nothing like that. As you said, it's just to get their own lads on, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's just to um, grow their own gyms and and uh, get their own lads to run out, you know. So I mean, it'd be great. But there's so much hurdles these days with between the, with, with COVID and restrictions, and um, you know, safe have made the reg regulations here, and so it's hard. Like, but as I said, hats off to the lads, you know, because uh, only for them, it's uh, keeping it going, you know. Would you go to many of the promotions, the regional ones yourself? Like, will you obviously you're going to cases, so obviously you go there coaching your own fighters, then, yeah. Yeah, well, um, I just I just go up to help uh, Paul uh, Paul Warren. He's the obviously the head coach there at his gym, but I would help uh, a good bit with coaching and stuff. So I just to go for uh, the uh, the help and hand in the corner and stuff, and and uh, obviously you build a relationship up with these uh, the lads that you're training with and stuff. And uh, we're it's you know, draw it's 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 big and it's small. You know we all know each other, so it's kind of you want to be there for them as well. And and um, so yeah, like I mean, I ju I ju just be at the shows, uh, coaching and helping out. But uh, I, you know, when the show was on in Drada, which that's where Cage actually started, it would have been in Drada and here and yeah, it would have been just going to to watch me teammates, whether it be that or just to support the show and and uh, things like that. But 
obviously there wasn't much going on last year, but I mean, yeah, like if it's in your local area, you'll be sure to know someone that's fighting or, or you're going to go any to support, you know. And again, it's it's a good night out. It's who, uh, who wouldn't want a few fights on a Saturday night or whatever, you know.